Good morning, everyone. Good morning, dear respected instructors, my friends, and my colleagues. Thank you for attending our presentation. Today, we'll be presenting about Web Power Generator, which was our capstone team project. Uh, this project has been done under the supervision of Jafar Rajat. My group mates are Awad Abdullah, and my name is Zima. Firstly, I will go through a brief overview of our presentation. Firstly, we will go through the aim of our project, introduction to the renewable energy and web energy. Then we will go through literature review theory and concept of our project. Afterward, we will show how we conducted the design and manufacturing process. Testing and results will be reported, and we will propose some, some uh, ideas in order uh, to enhance the project for future ones. Lastly, we will have the conclusion of our presentation and uh, we will have your question if you have any. Well, the aim of our project was to study uh, energy, uh, wave energy in details, presenting calculation and comparison between the different devices. Each device has its own uh, limitation and uh, advantages. So we will study all of them. Uh, later on, we, we plan to design, manufacture, and optimizing the web power generator. Since this device comes in very huge sizes, we decided to do a prototype in order to simulate the request. Uh, from this prototype, our aim was to achieve more than 1% in terms of power efficiency and more than 40% in turbine efficiency. Firstly, a brief introduction and background information about renewable energy. Uh, why renewable energy is important? Uh, the population of the world increasing dramatically in the last years. With this increasing, uh, power demands are increasing as well. These demands was, uh, have been compensated through the conventional, conventional resources such as uh, fossil fuel, oil, gas, and also by nuclear fuel. While these resources, there, there was several events that brought the awareness to the probability of depletion of these resources. The depletion wasn't the only problem, but uh, there is also uh, environmental hazardous impacts affecting the, on the environment from these resources, such as greenhouse effect, global warming, uh, climate changing, and also we all can remember the catastrophe that happened in Chernobyl from nuclear reactor or even more close from Japan in 2011. There are several resources of renewable energy. It's plentiful and it's free, uh, each one of these resources has, has its own characteristics. Firstly, we have solar energy. Uh, it's extracting the energy from solar radiation. Uh, as you can see here, there is a field full of 100 or 1,000 solar collectors in Arizona desert. There's also the wind energy. In the last years, more than 20, 25,000 turbine was uh, distributed, implemented, implemented all over the world. Also another resource is the hydroelectricity. This is a very important resource because it contributes to more than 20% of the total world power generation. Last but not least, we have the wave energy, which is our project. We'll discuss it later on in details. We have several other resources, but uh, this is the main resource for us. Well, uh, wave energy in details. We must distinguish between the internal waves, which generated from the internal currents inside the ocean, and between the surface waves. Surface waves is what interests us. Uh, it's generated from the friction between the surface of uh, water, the ocean, and the wind. This, this wave holds two types of energy. Potential, which is restored in the mass of these waves, and we have kinetic energy, which can be expressed by the uh, propagation of these waves. In order to extract this energy, two types of devices uh, have, been invented, have been invented. First, you have fixed devices. Usually, it's onshore devices like oscillating water current. This is the simulation of our project that will be discussed later on in the next chapter. We have also floating devices, which is offshore. Uh, it's mounted around sometimes uh, up to 20 kilometer uh, beyond, the, beyond the coast. We have one uh, device is the Bellamy Sea Snack, and the other device is Power Boy. Now, my friend. 
Norme, ne bi bomo tukajči tudi ostatni pričanje v juši. Prvo pa na to, ko so dati vkaj noc, da bi for na tem zelenje, da bi potem da bi pak bil dan in da bi bojo 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 the world of energy resources and dual energy was the one of the three resources today. The world interest about the renewable energy and peaceful around the world and dual energy as a resource of electricity for and reason that there is not not possible to to use the oils or it's very expensive to use oil such as Iceland. It's the possibility of to use wet generator is much more dangerous. Also because of the huge concern about environmental impacts of the conditional resource that is that leads to uh, renewable energy resources. In uh, 2005, there is a study about the uh, Eastern Mediterranean Sea with potential. As you can see in this figure, that is clear that the web energy potential range from 5 to 6 kilowatt per meter from October, uh, from October until um, from October 8th until November and it's decreasing uh, in few months like July and September. Our design was to illustrate the creating water column, which is a submerged structure that was on the sea. It's open to the sea water when, uh, the, when the waves rise and fall down, the level of water inside the collectors brush uh, the air above it and brush and compress it. This uh, movement of air the turbine which should be located here. And uh, the operating motor column and its uh, own uh, shape of turbines, that's called the twist turbine. It's a uh, asymmetric shape. This electric shape needed however the air comes uh, in or out will rotate in the one direction. This design uh, taken from NACA standard 00, it's range from 0015 to 0023. Our design was NACA 0021. In section view in our design, there is a, there, there is a container that we fill it in water until a desirable level. This is for uh, Generator, white generator mechanism. When we press the water the, inside the collector, the collector when we press the water, the water level inside the collector will rise and fall down. This press air inside the collector. This shape of the collector is named as the, to increase the velocity of the air until it reach the design velocity uh, in front of the turbine to, to, to make it rotate our design speed. In our calculation, we, we calculate, first we calculate the speed of the waves and then the speed of the air inside the collector. And, uh, later, the pressure drop. There are three main pressure drops in our design, which was uh, 
the first one, the vertical portion of the rock so can be calculated from this portion, where it's turned out to the difference between uh, elevations on water surface and the bite. Second, the pressure drop uh, horizontally in the bite can calculate from this equation to uh, FD in the fraction uh, coefficient that can be calculated from the iteration equation of the uh, we calculate the real number of our design that was uh, turbulent flow, but it uh, was above that uh, 60,000. Then over the, the ratio of the lens over the diameter of the line. And uh, last version of the was across the turbine that can be calculated from uh, continuity from the uh, Bernoulli equation. That's here. Then you calculate the torque from this equation where L is the number of legs, C for dense, C is the coefficient of the uh, left coefficient that taken from the standards of Nakat 21. Beta is the angle, uh, incidence angle that's between the rotational speed and the axial speed. CD is the coefficient, drop coefficient, RT is the tip uh, radius, RH is the other radius. And R average is the average radius between this both two. Next we calculate the maximum torque, which uh, can be calculated from the equation in max, where it is 80 in the x, uh, section area, area uh, in, in, the, in front of the turbine, V is the actual speed, RT is the tip radius. Then you calculate the torque, the torque coefficient, it's a uh, ratio between uh, T and T max that was calculated before, and it's a uh, ratio percentage. And then we calculate left force and drop force. Left force can be from this equation, where uh, C is the uh, left coefficient, W R is the resultant velocity, uh, C contains B, the limits of the blade, L number of blades. Drag force here can be from this equation, where C D is the uh, coefficient, uh, drag coefficient, W. Resultant uh, velocity C coordinates like previous. Then you calculate the turbine power, which uh, can be done from this equation T omega, where omega is the rotational speed and T is the torque. We convert it to a radian bicycle. Last we calculate the turbine efficiency which is the power outreach in the power power, uh, turbine power over the power in, and we can calculate from this equation. Whereas delta V is the total pressure load, uh, RT, the uh, big radius, large and half radius, big radius, uh, axial first. Last we calculate the Generator efficiency, which is uh, from the uh, electrical power efficiency, B, 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 Going through the manufacturing process, which are uh, the production uh, production processes used to build our prototype, uh, several uh, manufacturing processes uh, applied uh, using 3D printer, uh, shearing, shearing machine, bending, rolling, uh, uh, welding, welding we use two types of welding, manual metal arc welding and spot welding. Also we use turning machine. Uh, green and first uh, milling machine, green and surface finishing, and last 
process. Going through our design, our design consists of many, uh, several uh, components from uh, container, uh, air collector by where the generator is uh, fixed inside, and web, web device mechanism, and uh, last is the uh, support. For material selection for uh, our prototype, uh, we use, use galvanized, galvanized steel, which is uh, high, high corrosion resistant for, for the, the tank or container and the collector of the bike and the device. We use the uh, ABS DM uh, plastic for designing, uh, for manufacturing uh, turbine blades, which is very light material and uh, has the capability, capability to, to, to absorb the back loads. And last, we use polystyrene to, to, to create the cost. Going through the, the manufacturing process step by step, starting from buying sheet, uh, sheet metals and uh, doing sheet, uh, uh, cutting by shearing machine, then bending. Here in this photo, we are bending the uh, uh, container base. Uh, then uh, by uh, Step by step, we did all the parts. Uh, this uh, air collector side, uh, and then we welded it together by, uh, as shown in the photo, by manual metal arc building, uh, and then surface finishing for uh, removing the shifts from the, uh, surface finishing for wet surface, 